जय गुरुदेव शंभो महादेवा नाउ एज वी हैड प्रॉमिस यू इन द ऑडियो वी आर ब्रिंगिंग टू यू दिस रेजोनेंस पार्टिकल एंड इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स एंड गॉड एलिमेंट और गॉड पार्टिकल और वॉट इज दिस क्रिएशन एंड वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन दस तंत्र योगा एंड मॉडर्न साइंस हैव अबाउट दिस पार्टिकल्स सो वी विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग फर्स्ट आई एम नॉट इन द वीडियो आई एम इन द बैकग्राउंड आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट बट I am doing this because of a specific reason that I myself want to show you something very important. I want to teach you something very important. Now, many years back, there was a invention of how a planet came into existence. How. the whole universe and countless universes have come into existence and how our elements created so the elements are created by atoms and mixture of atoms and atoms are created by electrons but electrons are created by something which someone had discovered that we will see it in the audio next audio following audio because it will become a 3 hours video if we try to do it everything in one part someone a scientist we will talk about him later on discovered einstein actually discovered resonance particle now what is this resonance particle and how and when it was discovered this resonance particle they get together and they make an electron and electron makes atoms and atoms makes the whole world now this resonance particle were known as kali or kali by lord buddha now resonance if you know english everyone knows that why is it called resonance but kali kali means because it is black in color so it is known as kali or kali because it has the art of creation within it it is called kali it makes the same sense as resonance lord shiva called it sukshma tatva even the vedas called it sukshma tatva sukshma tatva means the subtlest of the subtlest element the subtle elements and there was another expert his name was ashtavakra he called it budbuda do you see this name over here he called it budbuda budbuda means it has the nature of bubbles it has the nature of the bubbles now we talk about what is resonance particle now this resonance particle helps you to create or destroy because atomic bombs are also you know created out of this so the resonance particle helps you to create or destroy all the matter all the living non living things all the living beings and non living things in the creation now this is the vertical view of resonance particle and this is the horizontal view of resonance particle so this you know is a detailed video for many courses so we have to go according to giving details of all the courses in this so as much detail needed for each course we will be giving what is connected with your course you can take that and rest you can leave okay now before we proceed i want you to see that this is the vertical view and this is the horizontal view of the resonance particle now again we will go to our chart now if you see carefully there are eight points 
of four colors in this chart now what are these eight points of four colors because most of the experts even like buddha have missed out on the horizontal part so i don't want people who are doing courses of mahavidya etc to miss out on this now uh, so i have also drawn the horizontal part now what are these four points this four points are the four elements now what you see in yellowish orange is earth element what you see in red pinkish red is the fire element what you see green is water element what you see blue is the air element and where is space the space element is the empty space in between them now what is this empty space in between the uh, elements what is this empty space between the elements and what are these threads what are these lines these lines are holding the elements together now there is a discovery recently done by science that these lines also they have given some name right now i don't remember but these lines they attract and repel the element now this element is known as buddh buddha by the expert called ashtavakra and it's called resonance particle because it's created and it's destroyed it's created and it's destroyed it's created and it's destroyed so how many times it is created and how many times it is destroyed in one second it can be created and it can be destroyed for one and then you add 22 zeros after it you write a one and then you write 22 zeros after it that many times it has been it can be created and it can be destroyed in just one second now where the threads of all the elements are meeting all the four elements are meeting in the center is shiva it is the god particle now that has also been discovered recently by scientists and they have received Nobel Prize for that. Now if you see this elements, four elements and fifth is the space, you will feel that if the science of Navdurga, now we are talking about Mahavidya. So if the science of Navdurga is true, it's real then what is happening what is happening is that that this as this kalai or the buddha buddha has eight points now what are these eight points these are eight durga so where is the ninth durga so they believe that ninth durga is the god particle is siddhidatri over here it is she is the center no that's wrong that has been wrongly interpreted by few experts and that is a wrong thinking this is not the ninth durga this these are the eight durga forms or these are the eight hands of durga ashtabhujadari durga but the ninth durga will come when we talk about the horizontal view and not only the ninth durga but there are ten mahavidyas which will come in now this buddha buddha is created and it's destroyed how many times it can be created and how many times it can be destroyed you put a one you write a one and you add 22 zeros on it it can be created and it can be destroyed for so many times now when they have clicked the picture of this buddha buddha a sense uh, particle or atom when it is blasting when they wanted to create atomic bomb and how did they do it we will see it in the uh, audio but this all videos that I'm going to post right now, we are only talking about essence or the resonance particle and its essence. Okay. Now, if you see in terms of Mahavidya, I'm including this. If it is not in your course, please 
just listen to it and you don't need to go into the depth of it now if we talk about mahavidya you see this fire element you see sundari over here this is tripura sundari you see water element this is kamla you see earth element this is matangi and you see air element this is tara these are the four positive aspects of mahavidya then there are four negative aspects kali it she is into air element baglamukhi earth element bhairavi is fire element and dumavati is water element now i want to tell you one thing is negative and positive doesn't mean that it's negative and positive negative means they are contracting universe and positive means they are expanding universe people who have done little bit of research in science will know what i am talking about what is the negative aspect of mahavidya the negative aspect of mahavidya is only that this mahavidya is responsible for contracting and this mahavidya is responsible for expanding what is contracting and what is expanding in this there is this god particle this buddha buddha is created sustained and destroyed for 2200 means 1 and then you add 22 zeros on it times in one second in just one second so when it is destroyed the center the shiva the god particle recreates the whole buddha buddha the whole resonance particle and then again it is destroyed and then this god particle gets into this uh, action and then recreates sustains and then it dies and then it goes again and then it is recreated so this god particle is very 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 powerful tool very powerful very dynamic very the whole creation is created out of this god particle it keeps on creating this resonance particle the kali and so shiva all the vidyas they come out of shiva and they go back to shiva so when they are created the color is white and then the color keeps changing as they are sustained and color of course lord buddha has said kali because it is black because he might have seen the black color how to see this god particle that also without instruments even the instruments cannot see this uh, as, uh, even the resonance particle and also god particle cannot be seen by the machines but i will i will surely give you the technique by which you can definitely see this god particle and the resonance particle the kali the buddha buddha how to see that that we will talk later but in this video when it is created it is white in color and as per the color of the element which is dominating it is created now these are the two points of earth element matangi and baglamukhi so this is the positive aspect of earth element and the negative aspect of earth element buddha has said that this is the element and this is its nature uh, yeah that is also true but this is the positive and aspect and this is the negative aspect and both when they are equal you come to a neutral aspect which is god aspect so we will talk about this also about the nature of the elements but it will be in different audios as per the sutras go eh? or else if your course does not require this knowledge it will be not included in your knowledge so in your course in your sessions now when this kali resonance particle is created sustained and destroyed it is created of white color it is sustained in the color of the element what are the colors of the element that we will discuss in some other video so it is created it is sustained in different colors and but when it dies it becomes of black color so buddha must have said kali or the black black one now these elements if you see we have created in diff different size the biggest is the earth element second biggest is the water third 
is fire and fourth is air and the ether element is thin very thin so the size of the elements is the biggest is earth the second is liquid or water third is fire please remember this okay and fourth is air because if you are going to get a pdf of your course then this is not going to be included in the pdf but you can save this video for life and air element I and mean, if you see the ratio in this whole chart the ratio of air or ether element ether element is the highest second highest is air element third highest is light or fire and fourth is water and fifth highest is the earth element and that is the reason why einstein has said that whole creation is just energy because there is no matter there is no solidness there is no earth element anywhere so the highest material in this kalai or budbuda is ether space element then we will talk us about is air element the blue one third is fire fourth is water and fifth is earth so earth element is the lowest but you have to reverse the form that we will talk in some other video for detail knowing okay now this is the positive side of the Buddha Buddha and this is the negative side of the Buddha Buddha now what are the four Mahavidyas Kali, Bagla, Bhairvi, Dumavati are on the negative side and which are on the positive side Kamla, Sundri, Matangi and Tara are on the positive side now Tripura, Sundri, Matangi, Kamla, Tara are the positive Mahavidyas but where are the other two because these are only eight so where are the other two we will talk about that in another video where we will talk about the creation and the the horizontal Buddha Buddha we will see the horizontal Buddha Buddha because nothing is one dimensional this is just one dimensional see but the whole creation is three dimensional actually ten dimensional and why ten dimensional because there are ten Mahavidyas a human being can see ten directions so the Buddha Buddha has to be of ten directions the person who can perceive 10 directions can slowly perceive 16 directions because 10 directions Kalai or Buddha, Buddha or resonance particle makes you eligible for self-realization okay uh, by knowing this there is no self-realization but this is a very fantastic thing if you know you will know yourself world different worlds different creations you can see this different creations but not not get stuck into it different levels of creation different planes of existence and we will talk about that also in detail in some other video but i hope that you have understood this video very clearly by the vertical view of the resonance particle the kalai the shukshma tattva the buddha buddha and if you have not please meditate and again go through this video huh? and then go to the next video hari om tat sat